Hi everybody, Sean Davis here, talking about potassium. Why potassium? Because potassium is good for sleeping. And we want to make certain that we as caregivers get a good night's rest and that the loved one that we're taking care of also gets a good night's rest. So one of the things that we do to assist Betty in having a good night's sleep is to include potassium in her bedtime routine. The potassium that we like best is by Cal. It's called Potassium 99 Protonate. Again, Potassium 99 Protonate by Cal. What we do is we take one tablet, place it into a miniature container, and add to it one eighth teaspoon of water. We then fasten the container, shake it to make certain that the tablet is well coated, and then we place it into a deli container like so. We place these in the refrigerator. We make approximately seven of them at a time. We place them in the refrigerator, and then every evening during Betty's bedtime routine at the end of it, we give her that tablet all melted down. We just serve it on a spoon because she won't swallow tablets. So we have to melt it down so that it's liquefied so that it's easy for her to take. So that's the way that we go about delivering the potassium tablet. Additionally, uh, we want to share with you the benefits, other benefits of potassium, and they include digestion. So we need the proper amount of acid in our guts in order to assist with digestion, and potassium aids in the body's production of acid. Also, Betty suffers with constipation. She has irritable bowel syndrome, and irritable bowel sw syndrome swings in the direction of both constipation and diarrhea. But most of the time, Betty is in constipation mode. And potassium helps with the lubrication of the intestine and the softening of stool. And so potassium supplements as well as potassium rich foods are important to know about for the elimination or the assistance of relieving constipation. The other thing that potassium is good at is lowering blood pressure. Because again, just like with sleep, it helps everything to relax. Potassium rich foods are numerous, but I want to emphasize the top five. One is beans. Beans, 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 particularly light colored beans because light colored beans have a lesser amount of something called amylase inhibitor. Amylase inhib inhibitor is in a higher amount in beans that are dark. And the problem with that is that sometimes that can inhibit the digestion of protein as well as the absorption of minerals. So, the recommendation is to stick with light colored beans so that we can get all the high potassium benefits without the negativity associated with amylase inhibitor. One of the things that we do is to take a can of refried beans and then we portion that on a cookie sheet. So we take a one half tablespoon measuring tool and we portion it onto a cookie sheet. We then put that in the freezer and then we lift those balls off of the cookie sheet and we place them into a one gallon size storage bag and we roll that down and rubber band it. But we also, one at a time for single servings, we place them into these two ounce deli cups. And then we store these in the refrigerator and in the freezer so that they're prepared for grabbing one at a time. That's for convenience. 
Now, we also cook dried beans as well because they just taste better to, you know, have the carrots and the onion and all the seasoning and everything that goes into making a good old pot of beans. So we do both. But just to make certain that we always have beans in Betty's diet every day, we also use the refried beans. Next, leafy green vegetables. Spinach and kale are great examples. So we cook a big old pot of greens and we then portion those greens into cupcake portions. Spooning greens into the cupcake portions and then freezing those portions and then popping them out and putting them into the same system. The bag first, rolling the bag down, rubber banding it, and then we cup them into single size portions and then every day we take one out and warm it so that Betty gets a portion of greens every day. Another high potassium food. The next thing that Betty gets every day is avocado. Avocado every day, it's in her rotation. Squash, I can't say that Betty gets squash every day, but we do include this in many of her soup bowls. We dice it, slice it, put it into the bagging system, and then again, portion uh, squash into many of her soup bowls. The same is true with mushrooms. That she does receive mushrooms every day, but in a small amount because it's included in the quinoa, which we package with the avocado, and she does receive that avocado package every single day. So, to review, Beans, greens, avocado, squash, and mushrooms are the top five high potassium foods that I'm recommending to you today. The other thing that we do with greens is we make green drink. So we blend a lot of different arugula, beet greens, spinach, etc. with other fruits and vegetables to make a delicious green drink. So Betty, romaine lettuce is in there. So Betty also receives a raw green drink as part of her beverage service every single day. One more bonus high potassium food is dates. Dates are ooey gooey. They're high in fiber. They soften the stool. And so they're an important fruit, dried fruit to know about. And dried fruits in general, apricots are very high in potassium as well. But I really like the ooey gooey texture of the dates. And I find them to be very helpful with softening Betty's stool. So, just to review, potassium is a mineral and an electrolyte. It is very important to the conduction of electricity in the body, which helps with that brain synapsis, and that's why potassium is so important to cognition. And it's a trace mineral, and it's the trace mineral that we need the most of. We need 4,700 milligrams of potassium every single day in order to get the optimum performance out of our bodies. So, we want to be aware of the foods that are high in potassium so that we can make good food choices every day and so that we can standardize, standardize some of our habits to make certain that we're getting these uh, high potassium foods in our lives every single day. If you like this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you haven't visited our new merchandise store, you're really missing a treat. Take a look at the description section for the link located there and visit the store. You will totally enjoy all of the messages that are there. Also, the first shirt in the lineup is our classic shirt 
and we're asking all of our viewers to purchase that shirt and wear it in your local Alzheimer's marches. We're also located at GoFundMe. It only takes a dollar to add your name to the list. You're watching our videos, you've subscribed, you love what we're doing, but you haven't yet gone to GoFundMe. That's another location where we need our numbers to grow. It only takes a dollar to add your name to the list to let us know that yes, you're behind this campaign fully. So please, I challenge you today, donate $1, just $1 today. Thank you.